This camera work is so insane. It's capturing so much happening at one time. What is with you guys? Welcome to the form. We're back with yet another episode of Band of Brothers. We are on part two, Day of Days. Part one definitely gave me a pretty good impression of what I feel like I can expect from the rest of this series. Um, I mean, one of the biggest surprises still to me is uh, Ross from Friends being Captain Sorbel. And it's not even really the fact that he's in this series. It's the character that he's playing in this series, uh, Captain Sorbel, a drill sergeant of all characters. Um, at least he was a drill sergeant. Uh, they kind of got his ass the uh, hell up out of there by the end of the end of the episode. Loving the storytelling so far. Um, loving, super loving the cinematography in this so far. Um, it's a beautifully made series. And judging by a lot of your comments, there's still a whole lot more to see and expect in this series. So we're going to hop right into episode two. Before we do, hit the like and subscribe button for your boy. All reactions will be up on Patreon. And without further ado, do what it do. Came from the sky, we hit, and in any direction you went, there would be enemy. You knew it. All that you know, you uh, you've been trained and trained and trained, and what your what your job is going to be, and what you're supposed to do, and uh, you, oh, that's what you got to think about. You know, whether, and we lost a lot of people that night. Heavy. Puts it all into perspective when you hear them actually re recount it from memory. Instead of actually just watching it in the show. Dead silence. That's a nice touch. How you could see him screaming, but oh oh snap oh that is horrifying man oh God, now they got the green light. This seems like an impossible thing to completely plan for. Like, successfully. There's way too many variables. And they still got gunfire on the ground, man. Damn! Imagine you'd be safe on the ground, but nope. Well, it wasn't until I lost my radio on the jump. I'm sure I'll get chewed out for that. Well, if you were in my platoon, I'd tell you you were a rifleman first, a radio man second. Well, maybe you could tell that to my platoon leader. Who's that? Lieutenant Winters? Is that you? Lieutenant, is that you? Marky, sir, sir. It's amazing how they're all able to still find each other. Okay. After that whole excursion, traveling that big group makes them a bigger target, too. Oh, snap! Damn, the horses, too? Damn! Near took that personal. What's that guy's problem? Gonorrhea. Really? His name, dummy, Garnier. Gonorrhea, get it? <laughs> so besides having a I was wondering about was that too in the first episode. Damn. What happened? They got hung up on the trees? Oh no, they died coming down. 
That's straight horrifying. Hey, I promised my kid brother I'd fetch him back a Luger. So I got first dibs, okay? Check that one. Where are you from, son? Eugene, Oregon. Eugene? You gotta be kidding me. Popeye, did you hear this? I'm from Astoria. And this year's Hall, Abel Company, known as Cowboy. What are the chances of that, huh? You and me, a hundred miles from each other, working to practice the same job. Jeez. Hey, Malark! We're waiting on you! Yeah, I'm coming! I gotta run. I'll see you around. Yeah. Oh, no. What the hell? He really killed them? I don't get it. Were they supposed to execute them like that? Thought they were prisoners. Firing onto the boys landing at Utah. Think he's he can handle it? Yes, sir. So my guess is they're doing some terrible damage there. How many crowds do they think we're facing? No idea. No idea. Shouldn't you be outside with the other Able Company guys? See you around, all. Hmm. We're all on the same side, guys. Take Ranny, envelop right, give covering fire. Ray, run the machine gun. Don't give away your position until you have to. I want that TNT as soon as you see we've captured the first gun. Go. Damn. Taking them out from the trees. Hitting them from all sides. Uh oh. Oh, snap! There's so much happening at one time. This camera wreck is so insane. Oh! Bro, those grenades are killing me, man. They're giving me way too much anxiety. Hell, everything is really. Now it's only the first gun. What's he doing, man? Oh, my God. Oh, he's done. How in the hell did he survive that? And TNT! I got TNT, sir! Good job, Tommy! Damn. Pleasure! Covering fire! That's shaky cam, man. I'm not always a fan of it, but it is working for me in this series. If there's one place you shake your cam, it's in content like this. Fire the hole! Oh. It's back that away! Do we know it? Oh! Fire the hole! Damn. The hell most we're supposed to prevent that? That was nuts. By nightfall. That was intense. Winters was definitely made for this man. If anything, he definitely does need to be the next commander of Freezy Company. We have a reservation someplace else. I'd be happy to go. Thank you. Don't that make you our commanding officer, sir? Yeah, it does. Hmm. Sir. I'm sure there's no complaints. 
Oh, Sergeant? Sir. I'm not a Quaker. <laughs> you might guess the county's probably a Mennonite. What's a Mennonite? Hall. Thanks. A John Hall, New Yorker. Got killed today at Braycor. I sent that map up to division. I think it's gonna do some good. That night, I took time to thank God for seeing me through that day of days. I promised God and myself that I would find a quiet piece of land someplace and spend the rest of my life in peace. I imagine that's what every man would want after this. Damn. That was an important ass operation. And I was not even aware. I got awards and recognition and everything. I think I may have praised the first episode on its realism and how much I appreciated that. But after watching the second episode, the first episode had nothing on this episode's realism and it's it's insane ability to place you right in the thick of the entire operation um i mean i've seen war movies where it felt like you know they placed you right on the field as things were happening but nothing like this and that's just a culmination of so many different things but most notably it was definitely the camera work the camera work was god tier in this episode and the director gave you like a myriad of different shots in this that just placed you in so many different situations like you had the shaky cam at some point you had like a third person behind the back view you had overarching views you had like you had bullets flying you had like grenades being thrown you had people getting shot uh limbs being blown off and like while all things were happening they were able to keep you focused on each event as it was happening. Like they gave adequate camera time and focus to each event sequentially as it was happening. Um, and there was a, multiple events happening at the same exact time. So to me, that's just a master level of filmmaking right there. And of course, along with the camera work, um, this episode could not have been pulled off without the performances from the actors in this. I mean, we got introduced to a bunch of them in the first episode, but this was the first episode that we saw any of them in actual combat and action, at least real combat and action. Um, and at least personally for me, I got a better viewpoint of a lot of these characters. And you get to see how they work as a team, you get to see how they think uh, as individuals, um, their strengths, their weaknesses, but so far, I'm loving it, man. Um, I can say that this series definitely takes um, special care and attention to the details. Um, there's so much that they do um, in this series to paint the picture that um, I notice. And I'm sure there's a bunch more stuff that I don't notice. I feel like in this series, they're definitely giving us one of the most accurate portrayals of... Um, the events that transpired like I appreciate them showing things that reflect reality and things that happened that may not have been so flattering at the beginning of the episode where they're all jumping out of the transport aircraft and you know they're getting shot at and they're all waiting for this sign to turn green and it just goes to show that even when you do have certain plans in place um, chaos may ensue um, and your plan is then to just survive I think it was Mike Tyson that said, um, everyone has a plan until you get punched in the face. And that kind of reminded me of a situation like that. Like the idea is the same. You have a certain plan until people are shooting at you and you have to jump out of a plane at a moment's notice. But guys, that's going to do for my reaction of Band of Brothers Part 2, Day of Days. Leave me your thoughts in this episode in the comment section below. Get to like this video, subscribe, and catch you in the next one. Peace! Sick could give you just a smidgen, a little devil.